All right, it is time to make some progress in my career here, the main career series. And I am actually here in elite section um, because priority number one, as you can see, I don't own Pagani Zonda F, at least not on this account yet. Why is that significant right now? Um, well, if you, any of you guys are running a weekly time trial tournament, you know why it is significant. Because <laughs> that is the fastest car for the stage one um, at Hockenheim, the Grand Prix circuit. So last week I did manage to um, get into, let's see, the, the rank C uh, overall since I have uh, two cars fully upgraded last week. That is um, the, the, the Nissan Nismo uh, LMP1 and uh, the Lotus Type 125, which is still fully upgraded, of course, and it's still um, uh, in, the, in the race for this week's tournament. But uh, LMP1 has been replaced by of course Camaro ZL1 NASCAR and that one um, I'm not really that close to well actually I am in like top 40 percent which is normally really really far away from um, being able to get any kind of um, score any kind of ranks but because it's a uh, speedway uh, at Daytona the outer rim I'm only off I, I'm off by less than a second so the places that I need to make most time well first of all the place that I need to make most time is gonna be the Hockenheim and that one I am going to need the Pagani here so that's why I'm here for Vanguard challenge because I only need one more race one more trophy I should say to unlock the car in uh, demand here and uh, I discovered something new I don't know I haven't bought a new car through showcase uh, discount in a long long time so this might have some this might be something that's been around for more than just this update but at least this is the update that I I noticed it myself which is they actually give you a two-day window for the showcase discount uh, how i remember back in the day is when you let's say when i win this next trophy it'll unlock this uh, showcase event and then it unlocks the car and it gives you the showcase discount which is 20 percent off right there um, at the end of the race screen exact uh, essentially and if you don't get it then it expires right away so it kind of you know if you're like making your career progress without really thinking about which car you're unlocking and you happen to not have enough resources to buy the car then you find yourself missing out on that 20 percent discount um, and or that's the way it used to be but now it seems like they have changed that to uh, favor uh, us the players which is good so uh, what's a good race um, I just need a short one do I have any short one here head-to-head -head, cup uh, those are our short ones that I've already done elimination is gonna take at least a couple of minutes and change Hokanheim National could be a short one or friends hatch also a fairly short one head-to-head -head. Wasn't there another head-to-head -head at Spa? There are two head-to-head -head at Spa. What gives? <laughs> exact same thing. Aye. Endurance is always a question mark if I have to race against. Most likely at this point I'll have to be racing against uh, TSMs, which means it's going to be a pretty long distance that I'm going to have to run. At least that's my experience. So, my guess is... Um, 
let's go with Brands Hatch. That seems like a quick one. Four laps. Oh, I don't have. Okay, uh, I need the PR60. Do I have a car with a PR60? Sure do. Uh, barely, but that's all we need. A Ventador. All right, so let's get this done. And I have a feeling I'm going to be loaded up with TSM bots, and that is correct. So the downside, it's going to be not easy. Upside, we get to see some cool liveries. Customized cars. So that's cool. So should be fun. I don't know actually how difficult this is going to be. I'm expecting it's going to be harder than your normal uh, flag bots. Well, let's find out. It might just end up being walk in the park. Come on, Paganis. You can drive a little bit faster. Okay, I'm gonna take the outside. Oh, that was a bad idea. But now I'm stuck on the outside. But at least we get to see some cool liveries, yeah? Nice. Ah, oh, got pushed out. All right, so lap one, not all that great. Not as grippy as, let's say, the Audi, uh, but definitely is a lot more a lot better acceleration so I just have to make sure I try to tame it uh, all right seven six could I catch up to the lead pack here I see all four cars in the front, but I may just not have enough to certainly... I don't know, we'll see. Is there a chance to get to the... I think I can get on the podium, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to catch up to the lead. Just too many mistakes. So, up to second place, possibly. As long as I stay on track. Come on. Ah, bad idea. Car was not going to be able to hold. Third place. Could I settle for third place? beginning I think I took too much time stuck behind the traffic and obviously I got pushed out to the outside of the grid and that was uh, probably my first mistake so uh, let's try it again cannot settle after that kind of race we know we can do better so let's give it another go all right we'll take the inside Make sure we don't get stuck in the back. Because look at this. In third place already. Which means we have this race in the pocket. 
also significantly easier. Don't want to speak too soon though. Still gotta finish the race. Just the first lap, but uh, yeah, the beginning of the race makes such a huge difference. You know what I mean? So, I guess the, what's the lesson here? Clean up the beginning. Or you can find out fairly early on whether you can you can be competitive in a race or not. Generally speaking, I would say, yeah. Obviously, when you have a rolling start race, that's not the case um, since the grid is spread out much wider. But when you have a standing start like this one which is most of the case in in Real Racing 3. You don't have too many rolling starts unless it's NASCAR. Um, obviously there are some in the Endurance Champions, the LMP1 race. But uh, for the most part, we do stand a uh, standing start, so... All right, nice healthy margin of victory even enough for me to make these terrible, terrible mistakes more than once. But anyway, um, the point isn't about this race. The point is uh, I wanted to show you guys about this extended duration. The two-day duration for the showcase discount right so here we go for the win Alright, now that we've got the first place in that one, not that we needed to, but uh, I had to do it for myself on that one. Alright, we'll throw the car in for service, that's fine. But more importantly, no thank you. Unlocks the Pagani Zonda F showcase and time trial. And of course, showcase discount 20% off. And as you can see, it ends in two days. It used to be now or never. Um, so to make sure that this actually how is uh, so you guys can see if you don't get it at this point um, so you can see how it shows up here I'm gonna choose later uh, buying price is slightly above a million racing dollars so it's a racing dollar car no reason to not own it so that's how it shows up in your uh, usual list of uh, repairs and uh, rewards and whatever is going on at the moment so now if i go into there that's how you buy it so let's purchase this car since it's going to take 20 hours um yeah not in a rush as long as i get it uh sometime then i can use it for the stage one currently going on Look at that, I already have 14 upgrades. How did that happen? We must have used this in a gauntlet somewhere. 
so that's good to know uh, that's all right look at that we actually have more racing dollar upgrades available so I may actually have to get these um, while I'm waiting so why don't I go ahead and do that since it's 12 hour wait time anyway so for engine we can get the racing dollar upgrades to third tier same for drivetrain and then what was it body same too right so just the last one is gonna be gold I'd assume because I don't think the second tier upgrade in this car was gold because this is one of the older cars that uh, most of the upgrades were racing dollars uh, gold uh, gold upgrades were reserved for like final bit on certain categories so so yeah so there you go I think it's something new uh, and customizing yeah the usual options oops fingers slipping and then the normal options so maybe we'll customize it we'll see um, but learn something new every day what do you know and service let's check make sure oh <laughs> ah, you know what I'll drive it around before okay so there you go uh, hopefully this is a uh, information that you might find useful um, if you do there's more to come um, so uh, do subscribe so you can uh, stay in tuned stay tuned for all the new uh, information including the soon to be starting balance of power <laughs> yeah I know it's it's uh, covered up by the list of things going on here but anyway that starts in I guess uh, tomorrow one day uh, probably will change to 24-hour timer in uh, a few minutes hour or two from now I think and then uh, yeah so we'll go from there so yes please do subscribe if you find this helpful uh, helps me out but anyway take care and We'll talk to you another time.